Welcome back to Elsinore. In the last episode, Ophelia's father was killed, uh, murdered to be more specific, by Hamlet. And that's pretty much right about where we left off the episode. Uh, this time I'm taking you into the menu rather than actually fully in the game because I looked at the news for this game and there was a patch that apparently fixed and, and changed quite a few things. And they said because of the extent of the changes, they made it so that existing saves will be automatically advanced to the beginning of the next time loop. Now, in my case, though, I hadn't actually gotten through one loop in total, but I'm assuming it, I'm still going to start back at the beginning of the second loop. I, I suppose after you've looped a bit, it, the whole process of looping is pretty pretty predictable, expected, uh, rote. But since I haven't actually been through more than one loop, I was kind of curious how it's going to work. I guess we'll see the beginning of a new loop, but not the end of the last one. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, oh yeah, has a specific message for it. Cool. Due to recent game updates, your game has been reverted to the start of the most... Wait, the start of the most recent loop. All progress up to that point has been preserved. Wait, I don't understand. So it's not the start of the next loop, but the start of the first loop? But my progress is preserved? So I'll know about the events? <sighs> I don't quite know exactly what that meant, but we'll see how it shakes out. What a strange dream. This is... Hello? Yeah, this is the same as what happened before. Ophelia! Hamlet! Is everything alright? That dream seems so real. What's wrong with Hamlet? Tragic nightmare. So that's the same. Um, but yeah, what's actually different? Like... Uh, do we know more hearsay than we normally would have known before? Terrible nightmare. I knew that. Hamlet is acting very strangely. I knew that. I mean, that's... That's... It. I don't know. It doesn't feel like I really know anything more. I don't, I don't know what progress I've amassed. But it seems like nothing? I guess we're just starting again. Ophelia. Don't think I missed Hamlet leaving your room just now, Ophelia. Yeah, okay. Well, I guess I'll cut here and bring you back when something new happens. I've reached the point on the first day where I'm in the Royal Gallery and just read the report about the suspicious death of the, uh, the old King Hamlet. The death report. Um, and I don't remember exactly what I did next before, but I don't think I took part in this event here in the courtyard with Lady Gildenstern, Rosencrantz, and Hamlet? Let me see if I can make it there in time. Hamlet? Gilda? Yes. Rosie? Gilda? What, what in the hell are you both doing here? Coming to visit you, of course. Let me think. We were on our way to stuff our faces at the German court. <laughs> to pay our respects, she means. Right, right. And we thought we'd pay you a visit, too. Feely learns more about Lady Rosencrantz and Lady Gildenstern. Yeah, previously we hadn't met them at all. I actually want to read their journal entry, because I want to know, like, who are they to Hamlet? Lady of Denmark, friend to Hamlet. Rosencrantz and Gildenstern are two of Hamlet's oldest friends from the university. I hadn't met them until recently. They're both the daughters of wealthy noble families, but come from foreign lands. Rosencrantz is the louder and more sure-footed of the two women, and there's a clear imbalance in their dynamic. Something has evidently made them inseparable, though. Something. Yes, yeah, something has made them in inseparable. I wonder what it could possibly be... They're definitely in love. Gildenstern appears to be the more reserved of the two and often follows in Rosencrantz's shadow. I wonder what she's like and what she knows about Hamlet. Rosie. You came purely to see me? Of course. So what's got you down, old friend? Oh, do they not? I gotta remember, this is not 
modern times, meaning people don't receive news basically instantly like we do now, they might not know about old King Hamlet's death. Uh, I mean, aside from your father dying in that awful snake incident, uh, bitten in the garden, was it? Okay, never mind. They know. <laughs> Gilda? You're being obscene. Who knew Danish snakes were such a prolific threat? Honestly. <sighs> Hamlet, we truly are sorry to hear about your father's passing. Really. Listen. It's all right. You're not being straight with me. Why are you both here? Mm. Did you really come out come of your own accord? Of course. Oh what? Rosie, that's not true. What about that letter from his uncle? Shh. I see. My uncle sent you. Um. I knew it. The dog. He's got even you two watching me now. No, believe us, Hamlet, we came only to pay our respects, not for anything nefarious. Yeah! <laughs> oh, that was cute. Your new father seems worried about you. Hamlet now wants to avoid Lady Rosencrantz. Fair. Hamlet now believes that Lady Rosencrantz wants to impress King Claudius. Felix's current event is interrupted by a sudden interlude. My head won't stop throbbing. Feels as if something's... Ah! Right! Right, that happened last time. That's what happened after the gallery. We never left the gallery. We passed out in it while we were looking at the paintings and stuff. Okay, so we know what happens now. Now we've reached the point where, after being saved by Quince, we watched the performance that they put on and how King Hamlet freaked out at it because it reminded them of what they actually did, and then we watched Hamlet ponder killing the king, uh, Claudius that is, in the chapel, but then because they were praying decided they shouldn't because they'll just go to heaven. And then at that point Ophelia just feels really sick and, and ends up back in their quarters, and it's like 4am. So, supposed to go to sleep, but I don't have to. I don't remember what I did last time before going to sleep. It's been a little bit since I've played, sorry. I know I want to go try to talk to Quince. Let's see if we did that. Maybe I did that before, but I want to talk to Quince because remember they said a lot of mysterious things when we first talked to them as if they kind of know what's going on in Elsinore. Hmm. So some things are grayed out, by the way. This one says this information isn't true right now. Oh, the esteemed Peter Quince will be performing one of his odd one-man plays with Hamlet's help. Right. The performance is already done. Cancelled, in fact. So you can't say things that aren't true, I guess. Or some things Quince probably wouldn't care about. So, you're not going to waste time, like, barking up the totally wrong tree. The game's like, yeah, that's not going anywhere. Don't waste your time. But these things they do care about. Hmm. Let's talk about the nightmare first. I had a strange nightmare where I saw the entire royal court killed. I see. An ill omen. And what shall you do about it? Thanks. <laughs> hmm. Prince Hamlet is acting incredibly strangely. Hmm. Well, he would, wouldn't he? Don't you know about the things he's seen? Yes, but how do you know? What do you mean? What has Hamlet seen? Hmm. A dear old friend of mine. An old friend of yours? So Quince was an, a friend of... Old King Hamlet? Did Old King Hamlet the ghost visit Quince too and tell them all about what happened? Is that why they seem to know things? Were I in your position, I might consider asking Hamlet about the nature of his little malady. Being direct in these kinds of matters is often the way through them, after all. Yeah, I tried to talk to Hamlet though, and they're too upset to talk.
Quince. I have proof that King Claudius is a murderer. He killed his own brother. Huh. Proof, have we? I heard him confess, and I think he's going to come after Hamlet next. Hmm. And what are you going to do about it? The way I see it, my dear, certain options lie before you. You could find concrete proof of his actions. This, of course, would be kept in his most private of places. Of course, a sufficiently motivated girl might take matters into her own hands and rid Elsinore of such a killer. The most difficult option would be to remove the teeth from his best laid plans, keeping a close eye on his bare-backed nephew. <laughs> so many prime traps lying in wait, so little time. Thanks, Quince. Tutorial performer. This is very helpful, though. Yep, so that's everything to talk about. Yeah, so... Basically, broadly speaking, I guess the goals we should be going after is... Kill Claudius? Or find concrete proof to prove that they're a murderer. Or just try to ruin any plans that King Claudius has to kill anybody or whatever their plans are. I don't know what their plans actually are. Hmm. Well, I don't see any events going on. But perhaps I'll go see the ladies. I don't know if I want to just go around telling everybody, Claudius killed King Hamlet! Claudius killed King Hamlet! It seems like if I tell everybody that, then... I don't know, something's gonna happen? Something bad? Rumors are gonna spread really fast? Or people are gonna say, Ophelia, what the hell are you up to and put me in jail or something like that? Hmm. But they are friends of Hamlet, so I don't mind telling them, but I don't want to tell just every random person. Uh, before launching into Claudius Killed King Hamlet, let's ask some more gentle questions. Uh. Hamlet is acting incredibly strangely. Do you know why? Hmm. Not in the slightest. He's an iron fortress, that one. What makes you take such an interest in his state, Ophelia? I seem to be a target of his mood swings. I'd prefer not to be, so I'm trying to find the root cause. Rosie. <laughs> oh, the way they said Rosie. Hmm. I think I need to speak with my compatriot Rosie here, in private. Lady Rosencrantz and Lady Gildenstern now want to placate Hamlet. Hmm. So by asking about it, I've now caused them to do that. Ophelia learns about a future event in which Rosencrantz and Guildenstern desire to meet in private. Ah, yes. Where are you going to meet? This event is happening now in the courtyard. Aren't we in the courtyard? We are. I guess they're just... Oh. Moving to another part of the courtyard. Follow. Okay, that's not very stealthy. Come on. I'm not here. I'm in the bushes. Ah. F Wait. Oh, this isn't part of me listening into the conversation. This is... I think I need to go back to sleep and I can't do any more tonight. <laughs> Found you. It's earlier for you to be wandering out like this. I couldn't sleep. Do you need something? Well, something unf- Oh! Oh, oh, this is where we get the news. That our father was killed. So we lost the whole opportunity to see what they were going to talk about. Okay, we are now back to where we ended the last episode, right after everybody was talking about what happened to our father. So what now? 
the two ladies and Irma are speaking in the kitchen. I'm curious about that. And somebody is doing something in the grounds, or about to be. I, want, I think I want to go into the kitchen. I want to figure out, or uh, not figure out, but I want to read who Irma is. Castle Cook, attendant to Her Majesty. Irma is one of the most feared women in Elsinore for her quick temper. She's fiercely devoted to the Queen, and originally followed Gertrude from Bohemia, where she and Gertrude were both born and raised. Despite her teeth, I've seen that she has a warm side. She loves to gamble, and she's quite good. I wouldn't make a bet against her for all the world. All oh, right, I think early on we were chastising Marcellus for uh, playing cards and, and losing to Irma or something like that. To the kitchen. Oh, it's just right there. Wait, it says Irma's in here. I don't see them. <clears throat> Your reign of tyranny has come to an end, Irma. Irma? Where, where's Irma? We've done everything on your list. <laughs> oh, there they are! They're like in the table! I think. I think that's their head. <laughs> Such helpful lasses. I see you arranged everything I asked for. We'll have a stew of champions this eve. Now be gone. You're both horrid at cards and even worse at paying your gambling debts. But as of this moment, we are settled, are we not? Ha! <laughs> You've added a single coin to the pile, but I intend to shake you for the rest at some later date. From one friend to another, I recommend you never deal in at my table again. Never! <laughs> oh. She's a cheat anyhow. What? Huh. Nothing. We'll be going now. Naughty. Were you like cleaning under the table or something? I don't know. Uh, Horatio and Queen Gertrude are meeting in the grounds. How long is left on that event? Actually, it's probably not in my timeline, is it? Because, yeah. Events show up on the map, but if I don't know about them coming, I guess I don't know exactly when they happen or how long for. Hmm. The ladies are going to speak with King Claudius, probably about Hamlet, of course. Cheering them up and what's getting them down. Hmm. Do I have anything to talk with you about? Yeah, quite a bit. Okay, I'm definitely not going to tell Irma that Claudius killed King Hamlet. What's wrong with Hamlet? <sighs> His insolent attitude weighs on my lady's consciousness like a fat stone. A burden, a disgrace, nothing but a nuisance. My poor Gerda must deal with him day and night. The boy needs a firm hand and gets none. The last noble who suffered from such a broken mind put everyone through even more strife before her death. I hope his end is less painful. What? What do you mean by the last noble? What? Lady Astrid, you did not know of her. Oh, let's just stop for a second here. I remember this. We looked at Lady Astrid's painting in the Royal Gallery in the last episode, and Ophelia mentioned that they haven't really heard anything about Lady Astrid. I guess this would be why. No, no, I suppose you wouldn't. It happened long before you were born. Those of us with eyes in our heads know better than to speak of her. Uh, but visit the gallery. Yes, the gallery. Not all traces of a woman can be removed, especially ones with blue blood. Hmm. The gallery. Hamlet must be disciplined. Information. Mysterious Queen Astrid. Ophelia learns more about Irma's ire. And Queen Astrid's memory. Let's go to the Royal Gallery. I want to learn more about Queen Astrid. By the way, there's a... Hold on. There's a cat up here. Echo! I clicked on him and it's doing something? Can I get up there? Oh, I can! Oh my god! Can I pet the cat? Hello, little one. I can pet the cat! I think? 
Well, I kneeled in front of it. That's good enough. Look at that little cat. That's a good cat. What's happening? Oh, okay. Okay, great. <laughs> Hooded figure. <laughs> Lady Ophelia. Who's there? I'm sorry for what I must do. Who are you? For whatever little it's worth, you are innocent of this matter. Oh, is this a spy? Denmark as it stands now must fall. It must fall. And you are the lamb whose blood must be spilled. Oh no. So you're the spy the king warned about. You are real. The king is so abjectly useless, he cannot even whiff out an enemy in his own court. I didn't want to hurt you. Not really. They'll never know about this, of course. They'll think you drowned in the end, the louts. Hmm. I remember from the movie that I watched that Ophelia ended up dead and they, everybody thought it was from suicide, I think? But we never saw any of it happened. It kind of just happened in the background. So is this what actually happened in the background and we just didn't see that in the movie at all? There certainly was no hooded figure, I don't think. Again, I kind of skipped through parts of it, especially in the second half. No. Uh. Okay, so first loop through, I guess we die long before the four days are up. I feel my body growing cold. Try again. Stop! Back in... in my own bed? How's this possible? I know what I saw. Someone definitely killed me. Ophelia! Hamlet? Oh. Uh. Yeah, so this part is the same, of course. I'm curious how Ophelia is going to react to seeing this again, though. Your own blood, finishing their sentence for them. I knew you were going to say that. How did I know? Have I seen this before? Everything's gone upside down. I need to get out of here. I can't breathe, I can't think. What is happening to me? My head's not pounding anymore. Well, that's good. Acquire the information, I'm in danger. Learn more about to catch a spy. Right, so I guess our highest priority right now is to make sure that we catch the spy or stop them from killing us. Otherwise, we'll just keep dying on day two. That was day two, right? I never actually slept, but I guess if you stay up for a certain amount of time, then it just becomes the next day. That's what happened, I think, right when I tried to eavesdrop on the conversation between the two ladies. So yeah, that was the second day. So what do things look like, like in predicting the future? There's nothing here. I would have expected there to be something here, given what we know already. I suppose our journal is more filled out, right? Yeah, like we have all this hearsay already. Whereas before, we had basically none. Um, what can I say about the assassin? That's not hearsay? Right? Political matters? Oh no, it is. It's under political matters. Guard Captain Bernardo believes there's a spy in Elsinore, but doesn't know their identity. What do you think? I think I don't know their identity either. But there is a spy. And they murdered me. And they'll do it again, probably. Leads to catch a spy. There's a spy in Elsinore Castle and I have to find out who it is. If I cannot, then come Saturday morning, I die. But where would I start? Who would help? Who could help me? Hmm. Who could help me? I mean, I guess 
Was it Bernardo who was the one who mentioned it? So perhaps I should mention it to them. Hmm. I don't know what I would say. Hey, in another timeline, they killed me. <laughs> Irma's ire. Irma believes Hamlet is in need of some long overdue discipline and have heard her grumbling to the queen about it. There's no doubt that Hamlet's been difficult for everyone in Elsinore to handle. I wonder if I can force the issue to a resolution. I don't know if I'd want to... Actually, hmm. Maybe I would want to force that to a resolution. Perhaps. I don't know what this discipline would be. But I don't know if it's putting them... I mean, they wouldn't put them in jail or something. Whatever they do to Hamlet may preoccupy them so that they don't kill Polonius. That would be good. Claudius coming undone. Maybe if I got to know the people close to him, I'd find out uh, find out why they killed the old king. Seems like the only person he trusts in the world is his wife, Queen Gertrude. So I need to get to know Queen Gertrude more. I want to learn more about Queen Astrid. Oh, Queen Astrid was Hamlet's grandmother. Um, I've realized I don't know much about her reign. I could ask around to learn more. So I need to learn more by asking people rather than going to the gallery? Although I thought that Irma told me to go to the gallery. Huh. Ophelia. Is Ophelia's conversation going to be the same here? You're... you're is this real? Okay, I feel you still having deja vu, <laughs> major deja vu. I can assure you, young lady, most certainly is. This is so strange. Everything's happening all over again. I know I've done this before. Time is somehow repeating itself. I'm being given a second chance. And that means Hamlet will murder father again, just as it was in my dream. Someone's after my life, too. There really is a spy in the castle, and that person wants me dead. I can change it. I have to. You mustn't. No mumbling. Speak clearly. How many times have I told you? I know. I'll be careful around Hamlet. I promise, Father, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm somehow being given another chance to survive. I could change my own fate. I should... Tell someone about my impending demise, but whom can I trust? Mumbling. Uh, right, sorry. Acquire the information frozen in time. Learn more about a future event in which the king holds court. Learns more about my father's death. Oh, this is new. You can now use the clock to fast forward time. Try holding down on the clock to fast forward time now. Ah. Oh, that's very cool looking the way people like jitter in place and. Where are you going? And the uh, plants and stuff move around too. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to start trying to change our fate and other people's fate too, like Polonius. <laughs>